So hello, we have reached exercise uh, 9, which is about the binary search trees of uh, events. So we have an historian who wants to classify a set of events. So each event is characterized by a title, a location, and a period. So uh, the title and the location are uh, strings. However, the period is uh, about an interval. So it has two integers, a start and an end. And so start is obviously less or equal than end. So we have the uh, structure of uh, interval. So it's about two integers, start and end. And we have an event which is about uh, uh, strings called title, location, and an interval. And here are some examples of events. So uh, note that certain events are spread over several years, while other begins and end at the same year, so it's normal in order to classify this event. So we'll use a binary tree of events, binary tree E, so B3E, whose data are uh, events such uh, as, so we have this, the data. So uh, if E, VL is in the left subtree, so if event left is in the left subtree of EV, so EVL.start is less than EV.start. And if uh, the event right is on the right subtree, though, so the start would be uh, greater than uh, EV start. So it's a binary search tree. So the, thus, an event tree is a binary search tree of event uh, starting in year, which repetition can occur, occur. So since we have the equality here, and here is an example. Uh, and TI denotes the title, LI is the location, and the uh, two numbers are uh, the uh, uh, interval. So here is the uh, B3, so they are giving us also the declaration of this uh, binary tree of events. Um, and here is an example. So uh, we have the starting year 1939, so 1870 is less, strictly less. So for example, here we have two equal years, so it's like a binary search tree is a normal binary search tree with equality on the left subtree. So we need to write a recursive function. It contains B3, B, and year that returns the number of events of B such that a year is in the interval of events. So for example, if they gave us uh, 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 100 and for example, let's see that if we have overlapping here, uh, 1940, so 1940, so this one is in between 1940, this one is 1940, is not, so this one is in 1940, this one two, so we have three uh, events that they are in 1940. So we need to write a function that returns the number of events that are in between uh, so as you can see, since we have the equality, so uh, 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 so we need to search sometimes the uh, left and uh, the right. So let's uh, uh, rewrite it. So we have here the implementation. So I have uh, recopied the interval declaration, the event, the binary tree, and we will use a queue later on in one of these questions. So because we need to write an iterative function. So and I have the implementation of uh, queue. So, uh, uh, so for contains, I uh, have a tree which is called B and a year, and I need to count the number of events that uh, this year is uh, in. So, recursively, so if B equal to null, so if I reach null, it means that uh, I will return zero. This is the stopping condition, so the tree is empty. Otherwise, so if year is in between uh, the lower and upper bound of the interval, it means I need to count it and I will continue to left and right. Otherwise, I'll just count the events in the left and right subtree. So if here is greater or equal than B arrow data dot period dot start. So if it's here, it's bigger and smaller than the end and here is smaller or equal than all this dot end. I will count, so I will return 1 plus the number of uh, events on the left and the number of events on the right. So otherwise, if it, if a year doesn't follow in between, does it doesn't fall in this uh, two uh, uh, values, so I would return just the sum of the left and on the right. So this is for the recursive part. So we need to write an iterative function that returns the minimum interval that contains all intervals of event of a given binary tree. So in the previous example, it's 1, 2, 1, 0, 1, 9, 8, 5. So I need to find the interval that I can place all this event in between. So I obviously, the minimum is here. It's on the leftmost because 
uh, for the BST, I'm, I'm creating the BST based on the starting event. So obviously the leftmost is the smallest uh, 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 event. So we can find it uh, like this if it's, if it's a recursive. However, we need to find an iterative one. And for the uh, 198, it could be any of these events because some events are spread over more than one year. So for that, in order to do a, 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 an iterative uh, uh, traversal, so you have either, uh, so you need to traverse all the trees, so either you can do it uh, using a stack, which is, I don't recommend, or you can do it level by level. So for that, I'm using a queue in order to do it by level by level. So I will not uh, go to the leftmost first and then calculate the right, so I will do it at the same time. I will calculate the leftmost and uh, the uh, biggest uh, year. So for that, I will need an element for the front, and I will declare int min, which is, uh, I will declare it as, ma as int max as the maximum integer that we can encounter and int max as the minimum so int min and then so we'll start so if b is different than null I will create a queue so let's do it here q q and q equal create queue and we will queue the first element and then we will continue looping on the queue in queue address of queue b and here as long as we have a front element so we need here an element e so it's already declared we will dequeue the element directly in order not to forget and then we will check so if uh, so I need to calculate the minimum here. Is the, the minimum is less or greater if, if e arrow data dot period dot start is less than the minimum that we have. So I will update the minimum. It will be equal to all this, and I will do the same for the the maximum. So if e dot and is greater than max. So max would be equal to the end. And then I need to enqueue the left and right. So if e arrow left is different, so I will enqueue enqueue e arrow left. Otherwise, and there is no otherwise. And if e arrow right, I will enqueue the e arrow right. So we'll keep uh, doing that. So here I have the returning value, so it's an interval. So at the end, so uh, 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 before, so if p is different than null, so here, uh, we'll place and start the minimum and in maximum, in end, the maximum. And I will return one, since p is different than null, and in, in case of uh, in case where a b is equal to null, I will return uh, 0. And this is it for this part, for contained in uh, recursive. And then we need to write a function in sb3 uh, that, re that determines whether a given event 3b uh, satisfies the property of uh, b3 of event. So this one is very easy, so if you can go up, so it's the same as exercise 1. And uh, so we'll write it uh, again now, so we need to write two functions. So we want to find the maximum on the left and the minimum on the right and check that everything is okay because it's a BST. So this question is was part of a final exam. So let's start. So for that, I, I have uh, uh, reserved here two places for uh, writing a function that returns the minimum and the maximum. So of a B3. So we'll write it. Uh, uh, so if you can remember, it's very easy. It's on, you can write it on a two line. So if 3 is equal to null, So what's the minimum here? So it's, since there is no uh, minimum, it's int max. Otherwise, I will return the minimum. So, uh, uh, and if there's a, a, a null uh, uh, a leaf, so the minimum would be equal to that. So we can write that. So if three arrow left 
and not three arrow right. So we can return uh, return. So here we should return the starting uh, element because we are finding the minimum and we should check just the starting not the ending uh, year. So three arrow data dot period dot start. Otherwise, I will return the minimum between the three arrow data arrow start, comma the minimum between find min on the left and find min on the right. So we already done that. So this is for the minimum. The maximum is the same. So if I want to find the maximum, so if there's no tree, I will return the the most minimum value. And if the tree is, is I have just a leaf, so the minimum it would be the uh, element, uh, the starting element. Otherwise, I would find the maximum. So let me check how can I write maximum. So okay, it's maximum. So I will return the maximum of the maximum of between find max and find max so those are the two functions and then we need to write the is b3 of events so uh, as we have already covered so let me go up to the first exercise so we return uh, we check the cases where i return zero so i need uh, uh, to return zero whenever i have d so if there's some violations and at the end i will return one so it's obviously the same absolutely the same so let me rewrite it. So if B is equal to null, it means everything is okay. So I have reached the leaf, the, root, the, the null pointer. So uh, I will return one. So obviously the tree is uh, BST of event, B3 of event. Otherwise, so if I have, uh, if B arrow left different than null and B arrow right different than null, however, and the max, so find max, on the left of the arrow left is greater than uh, b arrow data arrow start b arrow data dot period dot start so i will return zero so obviously that so if the maximum on the on the left is greater than uh, uh, strictly greater it could be equal but not greater and here we have uh, uh, the right part so if b arrow left different than null uh, 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 and so we, we cannot, so it's not uh, necessary here to check the arrow right because we are, we are not checking anything on the right. So here we need to check the arrow right so and find the min of the arrow right. So the minimum uh, should be strictly greater. So I cannot have here uh, less. So if it's less or equal than the arrow that arrow start, I will return a zero. So because the right part should be, should be strictly greater. So in, in this violation, if it's violated, it means that I will return zero and then so recursively if it's not BST on the left if it's not uh, B3 BST on the left or not on the right I will return zero and at the end if everything is okay I will return one so this is what uh, already encountered and it's very uh, easy now if you have studied well uh, the course till now. So we still have uh, uh, two, three questions. So uh, we need to write a function in longest interval, B3 event E that returns the time in years from the longest intersection, from the largest intersection event E and those of B. So they are they're, they're giving us an example. So the intersection event of this one, so we need to check just the years. 192319968 with the previous three is 31. So we need to intersect, we need to do the intersection with uh, this interval, with uh, the intervals here, and we need to find the largest intersection. So 1923 and 1960. So if we can uh, check here, so the intersection is just, uh, so just one year, so not that long. So here, for example, there's no intersection. Here, there's no intersection. Here, for example, between 1930 
so here that, yes there's intersection because it starts from 1923 so here between 1923 and 1985 and 1923 and 860 so we need to calculate the difference so uh, obviously this one is inside this one uh, uh, not totally so it's from so far it's from 30 to uh, 60 so it's 30 years however this one between this and this so it's between 100 and 1923 and 1954 so it's equal to 31 and this is the largest intersection so we need to calculate the intersection with uh, each of these ones and to, five, to calculate the uh, to find the largest intersection so uh, as you can see we need to check all of these because the calculation here is based not just on the uh, on the starting uh, year but also on the ending year so for that we need to check all the three so uh, again uh, it's easier to do it uh, iteratively using a queue so for that uh, I will be uh, recopy I will recopy all these and redo that uh, using the BFS uh, traversal so for that I have an event E I have B3 I need to return uh, D longest intervals or, or in terms of year I need I will need an element E and I will need uh, an interval so interval would be a number so that I will return so first it will be equal to int min so I will keep this and I will need also a lower bound and upper bound we'll see it later lower bound and upper bound so I'll be keeping uh, uh, using uh, B and the Q so we'll create a Q we'll enqueue Q and we will loop over the Q so and then I need to uh, check the uh, lower bound or upper bound and calculate here the uh, interval so uh, when dequeuing the lower bound so look well let me go back so for example if I'm checking 1923 and 1930195 so what I need to do is that I need to find the maximum on the starting year and the minimum between these two on the ending year and then I will do the difference and find the interval so for that for the lower bound it's the maximum between the starting so I have E here it's E dot uh, I have the event minus the one in E so it's the maximum between E dot period dot star and E dot E arrow data dot period dot start so we find the maximum on the fur on the starting and the minimum on the ending year so upper bound it will be the minimum between the end and E period dot so we have found the lower and uh, upper so now we need to find the difference if it's greater than the interval and we should be sure that the lower bound is less or equal than upper bound because sometimes if the two events are, are if, uh, 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 doing that so we either you can you should do it in uh, an absolute value especially if it's upper bound minus lower bound and you need to check that the events uh, uh, do intersect and there's no difference because they do not intersect so this is why we need to check that lower not here so here so if so let me erase all these because we don't say it however we need to keep that so if lower bound is less than upper bound it means that it's a valid uh, uh, number of year so we can place also equal maybe just one year so and the difference is greater than interval and upper bound minus lower bound is greater than the interval so I will update the interval so interval would be equal to upper bound minus lower bound and in all cases if there's a left tree I will update that and so here there is no V and of course I will return at the end the interval and if there is no interval so I will return minus 1 so to say that there is no uh, uh, interval so let me repeat so we have used 
So we need to traverse all the trees. So for that, we have used the BFS. So we have used a Q. And whatever we are uh, uh, comparing to events, we have found the minimum, so the maximum on the starting year and the minimum on the ending year. And we have calculated the difference. And if the difference is uh, greater than the interval that they already encountered interval, I would update the interval. And just we need to check uh, also that the lower bound is less or equal to the upper bound just to check that the uh, interval is uh, is correct so we still have one more question so we need to write uh, a function called max long that returns the longest a common a peri uh, period intersection of two events in a given b3 so here we will be using a uh, longest interval. However, we need to find two events here where the intersection is a maximum. There they are telling us that T2 and T5. So this ones, they have the most uh, bigger intersection. It's about 24 years. So we will be using that. However, we will be, uh, 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 so for each event in this B3, I will be calling longest interval on the other elements. So here, uh, we need to pay attention that I don't need to compare the events with each other. Hmm? So I will not compare, for example, uh, 1 to 1, 0 with 1 to 5, 5. It will be equal to 45. So I need to skip this one. So we'll do a trick here in order to do that. So we have here the max long. So in order to call max long, I would use uh, 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 the max long helper function. That uh, uh, So it's on the same. So uh, the tree, I will calculate the max long uh, interval bb so it's the same tree so what i will do in uh, this one is that i will fix the first tree and the other tree uh, uh, so i will uh, i will loop over the, second, the other tree so with so max long is the same as the maximum here so it doesn't change so i i have a tree and i need just to check the longest interval so what i will do that uh, so if three is equal to null so the stopping condition, so B is fixed and, I, and I'm working with 3. So if 3, if not 3, I would return int min. It means that this is the minimum interval. Otherwise, I would find the maximum on the left, the maximum on the uh, right using max long recursive. And then I would choose the maximum between uh, these ones and the longest interval so here the stopping what what i will do that is that i will calculate the longest interval between b and three arrow data however i need to to pay attention to not repeat the 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 same stuff so what i will do that so here i will return the max max of this one comma d and then max of max long r and max long r so here max long r would be a b3 arrow left and here b3 arrow right so for the longest interval we need to check to do need to change something that uh, whenever uh, I'm checking B and the, 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 the node is equal to 3 arrow data, I need to skip it. So for that, whenever I'm, I'm updating the interval here, I need I will add a condition which is if the, uh, the title are the same or location are the same, let's say the title because the title is different. So if strcmp of e arrow data dot title, it should be different than the e dot title. So this is very important because whenever, so the data here, when I'm calling longest interval, B is, is the tree. However, tree arrow data is about title, location, and interval. So if, uh, whenever I'm looping over uh, B, so B here is equal to B, so, and the event tree is equal E, so whenever the STRCMP is different than zero, it means whenever they are not equal, I will update. Whenever they are equal, I will not update the interval. So this is the trick here, and we have uh, need to update it in the uh, previous uh, question, which is the longest interval. So let's run and see uh, the errors. So min max. Oh, so here we have 
uh, we have omitted the dot, so it's on 67. Not 67, 161 and 162. So here we have dot start and dot end. So the 9 uh, for 3, so we have here the same uh, 3 and we have the example. So the number of events that contains 1943, so let's check it together. So this one is okay. 2, 3, and 4. So we have 4, right. So the interval uh, that contains uh, BV, so B is this, so contains 2, it will return this one, that the minimum interval that contains all the interval, so it's 1, 2, 1, 0, 1, 9, 8, 5, it's okay. So we are checking if it's B3, so yes, it's a B3. The longest interval, so okay, it's 31, as they have told us. And the longest uh, interval, so this is the one, the maximum longest interval, again, is equal to 24, so as it was instructed. So this is for this exercise, so I will repeat it and skim over it quickly. So for the uh, containing for this search, so we need to search a binary tree, not uh, as a binary search tree because we have the equality and we can find and we need to, to, to check the uh, uh, just the starting and the ending year. So for that we cannot rely on the BST property. As for the uh, containing two, so the largest uh, uh, the interval that contains all the events, so we need also to skim over all the trees. So we have uh, chosen the iterative version. So they are asking us the iterative to write it iteratively. So we have do it uh, uh, using a queue. For, find, for checking whether it's a BST, it's already encountered exercise, so we need to write two functions, find min, find max, and check whether uh, where it doesn't work, and return zero. For the longest interval, again, we have, so it's very easy, we have checked, we have do a BFS traversal, and we have calculated the maximum on the starting events and the minimum on the ending event, and we have checked the, the difference and uh, updated the interval for the max long, uh, uh, also max long interval. Here, uh, the common uh, longest common period. So we have used a recursive function, and it's the same as the maximum on a B3. However, we needed to update here just one line to be to check that we don't compare two elements, the same elements in the B3. And this is it for this exercise. If you have any questions, do not hesitate to write to me, and I will answer you back. And again, thanks for watching.